You're watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with dental implants. According to my first guest, he says, no more dentures. With us, we have an expert on the topic, Dr. Marinick. Dr. Marinick, welcome to the program. Thank you. Now, uh, lots of questions, and I know you brought some models, and we have lots of photos. But for people that don't know Clear Choice, who's the typical patient, and uh, what are the different services you offer? Okay. Well, our patients range from patients in their 20s all the way up into their 90s. And one of the things that really separates Clear Choice Dental Implant Centers is that everything is done under one roof. We have the treatment planning, we have the restorative, and the surgical procedures, as well as the laboratory, and everything is done in our center. Okay, so the way it's normally done is you go to one person that does the surgery, is that right? And then another person puts the teeth on top, and then maybe even somewhere else to get the imaging? And you yes, do all that right everything is done in one center, and it really helps the patient because we can coordinate everything a lot easier together. So you, so you have an oral surgeon right there? Yes, we have a team of oral surgeons, so the surgeons actually handle the surgical component, and then I actually restore the patient's smile and create that smile that they've always dreamed of having. Okay, good. And you believe no more dentures? That's the future of dentistry? That should be the future of dentistry, yes. P patients should be able to have the confidence of eating and enjoying life without having to worry about dentures falling out of their mouth when they're talking or smiling. Okay, good. Now, in your area, is I mean, are there a lot of people wearing dentures? Yeah, well, the Chicago metro area has over 9 million people in it. And of the 9 million people, 25% of them are wearing dentures in, on one or both arches. So that's wow. a tremendous number of people. Like almost a million people with yeah. an upper or lower denture? Yes. They're just, uh, it's unbelievable the number of patients that can use our help. Now, uh, we should mention, you wrote a book. He wrote a book, Kiss Your Dentures Goodbye. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Uh, the, the book, actually, the title came from a patient that when I went ahead and I delivered um, his fixed bridge up on top that was attached to dental implants, he took his denture and he threw it in the garbage can and he said, I'm going to kiss these dentures goodbye. Is that right? Yeah. And do they do that? So, so again, I mean, you're able to, with... with I guess four dental implants, give them a full arch of teeth that don't come in and they don't come out. Yes, they have, we have uh, different, every treatment plan is custom designed to each patient, but we can with four implants and do on a reg on a daily basis, create new smiles for patients uh, that are fixed and they don't come out and it just changes their lives. What about pain, by the way? Yes, often for patients that are wearing dentures, we can actually do the procedure guided. And with guided surgery, um, templates are made that go into the patient's mouth, and the surgeon can work through those templates. Is it because the gums, you're, you're hardly... We don't really have to do much with the gums. We make a tiny little opening, and everything goes through these little, uh, uh, through the guide itself, and the surgery is much shorter. Now, in your book, uh, you have a picture of a steak on about the fourth or fifth page. Yeah. And you say that patients comment about that. Elaborate. Well, they do because a lot of patients, a lot of us don't realize that when someone's wearing dentures, the thought of having a steak, that's just a memory. They haven't chewed or eaten steak. You know, they have hamburger, they have soft foods. And so they look at that picture of the steak and they can recall times when they could bite into a steak and enjoy their meal. And the reality is when they have these fixed teeth, they can eat whatever their heart desires. Once, the, once right? the implants have integrated, they have 95% of the chewing power that they did when they had their teeth, compared to 20 to 25%. So once they're all healed up, I mean, they could eat whatever they want, like a carrot? Anything you could eat with natural teeth, you can eat with these bridges that are fixed to implants. Are they skeptical? Like on the consult, do they even say, I mean, do they say? Well, sometimes patients, they, they can't believe it would be that true, but it is. And, it, and I've been doing these... Uh, uh, full dentures for over a decade. For a lot of years, I was doing them myself, but now I have a whole team that uh, does them with me, a clear choice. So when you take a dentureware and give them this fixed set of teeth, a full arch of teeth, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, but you said it's the happiest group of patients. They are. Of all They're dentistry. They are. They're the happiest group of patients because I've done veneers and I've given patients the mirror and the tears come out of their eyes because they've always wanted a beautiful smile. And I've had treated myofacial and craniofacial pain and patients have also been grateful because they've had chronic pain that's gone away. But when you take a patient that's 40, 50, 60, 70 years old and you give them a fixed set of teeth, 
they feel like they've got their life back. They tell me that they feel like they're, they're, they're whole again because now they can go out and smile. They can laugh at their friends. They can do what they want. I had a patient who his wife said they were out to dinner. And someone cracked a joke. And he laughed so hard that his denture fell out on his <laughs> plate. Well, that's for him, was about as funny as someone losing a prosthetic hand. I mean, oh, okay. he did not go out for six years. It took her two so very years. very embarrassing. Very embarrassing. It took her two years to get him to come to see me. And when we finished his smile, she said she got her husband back. So for the denture wear, you say that there's close to a million people, maybe within an hour of your practice, that yeah. have an upper lower denture? Yes. Now, if it's so good... Why aren't they all doing it? What's your take on that? Well, Randy, you know, a lot of them don't even know that they have a choice. They've been wearing a denture for so many years that they didn't even know that they have an option. And some of them, to get to that denture, it was pretty rough. They had a rough life as a dental patient. They went in and they tried to save their teeth and they had gum disease and then they had toothaches. So the thought of going to a dentist for them is not a pleasant thing. They don't want to go back. They don't want to go back. Do you back. still hear that where people say, I don't like going to the dentist? Because nobody likes going to the dentist. Well, I know. And I would usually tell the patient, usually it takes a while for someone before they don't like me. <laughs> That's a good, is that your but, comeback? Yeah, it is. But the thing is, and then they say, no, 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 it's not about you. I don't like dentistry. And I say, I know. I said at first, you know, 20 years ago, it would have hurt my feelings, but I've been doing this about 30 years, so I'm, I'm a, I understand what they're saying. But you know what? When they tell me their stories, their stories are frightening because what they went through, it's not fun. Before and they got to false teeth. Before they got to false teeth. And so what they need to be able to understand is, is that things have changed. The way we do things have changed. There's no reason for them to have those fears, but they're ingrained deep in them. On the consult. So if you have a denture where they come in, they've seen your advertising or whatever, they have a friend that had it done, what do they ask? Like, what do they want to know? Well, sometimes they want to know if they're even a candidate for it because they've been missing teeth for so long, they're, they don't even know if they can have implants. And so one of the things we do at Clear Choice is we have three-dimensional scanning, and these 3D scans will allow us to know if the patient indeed has enough bone. But isn't it true that if you've been in dentures like 30 years or, or, or 40 years, that you don't have enough bone? Sometimes we'll have to prepare the sites and augment them for bone so that they can receive implants. I had a lady that called um, years ago, and when she was 14 years old, she was the youngest of nine kids. So she went to the dentist, and she was put to sleep at 14 years old. They extracted all of her teeth and gave her upper and lower dentures. She called me when she was in her 50s and she was crying on the phone all the way from Michigan because she couldn't wear a denture anymore. And we went ahead with a team and we restored her smile. We gave her a smile back. And when I gave her a mirror, tears came down her eyes. And she said that she had dreamed of having a smile since she was a little girl. It didn't take a lot of implants. We put four on the bottom. In her case, we needed six on top. And then we attached a fixed bridge to the top and the bottom. So she had a beautiful smile that didn't come out. And she had all the self-confidence that she dreamed of since she was a little girl. So it's a full arch of teeth. I mean, even yes. the back teeth, everything's yes. there. Everything. She had everything there. And... Um, you know, to this day, it's been about five or six years later, she just, every once in a while we get a note from her. So Randy, you could imagine that from 14 years old to 54 years old, she spent her whole life being frightened, miserable, and just unable to chew and eat. And she basically was a recluse. There are a lot of patients like that throughout the U.S. and throughout Chicagoland that also feel the same way. And they have a solution, and they have a solution today. You have some people that walk in without teeth, and on the day of the procedure, they walk out with a full arch of teeth that Mo don't come in and out of their mouth. That's correct. That happens most of the time. We have one day when we select the color of the teeth, take their medical history, but then in the vast majority of the cases, those patients come in first thing in the morning, and they leave with teeth, and the teeth don't come out. They're, they never see themselves without teeth again. If everybody figured it out, because you told me this in the green room, because there's you know, so many you know, million people where you are that are wearing dentures, that if they all knew how good it was to have a fixed set of teeth in their mouth, there's not enough dentists to serve all these people. There, there aren't enough You dentists. believe that? Uh, there, it's completely true. If all the patients that needed to have their mouths restored with a fixed solution to get rid of dentures, we don't have enough dentists in the Chicagoland area or any other town to be able to take care of everyone that needs to be taken care of. If there was a test drive for denture wares, where they could try out, you know, 
you know, a fixed set of teeth for the weekend. Do you think anybody could go back? No. They're, 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 once they get the feeling of what it feels like to be able to bite into something and it feels like teeth, it doesn't feel like something that's slipping or food gets stuck underneath a denture or it gets stuck to the surface of the teeth of the denture. I mean, once if they could try them out, they would never turn back. We're going to take a quick break. We come back, more about the process, uh, what they can expect on day one. You're watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. We'll be right back. My teeth just were not healthy. Foods started hurting my teeth, like steak, corn on the cob. I would never consider dentures. I had my consultation with Clear Choice. This is something I had to do for me. At Clear Choice, we bring hope to millions who suffer from missing or failing teeth with dental implants that look, feel, and function like strong, natural teeth. All the specialists with all the technology they need are in one spot. It makes delivering this 21st century world-class dentistry very convenient, and we do it in one day. Our doctors use precise technology in a warm, welcoming environment to create your new, healthy smile. I walked out of there with the teeth that I wanted. I do get a lot of compliments about my smile. Call today to schedule your free comprehensive consultation and ICAP 3D imaging scan. We'll even talk financing options while you're here. My husband loves them, and I will always have the smile. Always. <laughs> Call Clear Choice today. You are watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. We're discussing replacing missing teeth with dental implants. According to my first guest, no more dentures. With us, we have Dr. Marinick. Welcome back to the program. Thank you. Now, I knew a few denture wearers. They seem to be fine. They don't complain about their denture. Well, they don't know any better. Some of them have been wearing them for so long that they don't really realize what life would be like to not have to be embarrassed and worried about putting your denture in a glass and hoping that your spouse never saw you without teeth or being afraid to speak in front of people because you're afraid that your teeth will fall out in the speech. The other day I had a reverend and she came in and she said that when she was giving one of her sermons, her teeth slipped out of her mouth and she had to bend down and pick them up and stick them back in her mouth. She was so humiliated that she was having a hard time to finish. And now she's embarrassed to go out and, and to preach. And, and she's the most wonderful lady you've ever met. So sports, you say that people avoid certain sports. In fact, in your book, I was reading, people playing tennis, for example, that right. are wearing dentures are insecure about this. Well, Is playing, that right? playing tennis, swimming. We had a, a lady who went to her grandchildren's uh, party, and she was in the pool, and her denture slipped out of her mouth and went to the bottom of her pool, and everyone thought it was funny. And when they finally got them, she just got her dentures, and she went home. I mean, she was humiliated. It's, it's, it's not funny for the person who it happens to. And the thing is, there's no reason for it to happen anymore, you know, so... So no more dentures. No more dentures. You say uh, you have a corn in the cob recipe you tell <laughs> patients. And by the way, we should mention, you're known as a funny guy in the office. <laughs> is that true? Well, I don't, I don't know, but I mean, I have fun with everyone in the office. We enjoy But ourselves. what's this corn in the cob thing? Well, a lot of patients, you know, one of the things that they love to be able to do is eat corn on the cob. And so they ask me and I tell them I have a recipe and I ask them if they want it. And a lot of them say yes. And it's actually a great recipe. Basically, you get farm fresh corn. You soak it in the water for about an hour. Peel the husk back. A little olive oil, a little butter, a little Italian seasoning. You wrap it up with bacon. Put the husk back on. Put it on the barbecue for an hour and a half, two hours. Take it off. Take the bacon off, put it on the table, and don't tell anyone anything, and just watch their eyes. Because what happens is they bite into the corn, and each one of those kernels is a bacon bomb, and it explodes in their eyes. And they look at the corn, they take another bite, and then they start asking, what is this? And it steals the show, so whatever you cook doesn't make a difference. So what about the, the, the crowd of people, because you say this is a big part of your practice, they want to avoid false teeth. They haven't been to the dentist. Their right. teeth are loose and bleeding gums. You get a lot of these people. Right. We but isn't it true if your gums are bad, you can't get dental implants? No, that's not true at all. Um, the patients that have terminal dentitions that know they're going to lose What does that all, mean, terminal dentitions? That means they know that they're going to lose all their teeth, but they just don't want to go to dentures. They don't want to go through that step. And at Clear Choice, that's where having this whole team under one roof plays a huge role because it allows us to take care of those patients and get them in one day from in the morning having broken down teeth with periodontal diseases and abscesses to fixed teeth that don't come out. 
They come in at 6.30 in the morning, 3.30, 4.30 in the afternoon, they leave with a new smile. And when you give them a mirror, it's the most magical portion of the day. Like what? The whole staff is there looking and watching their face because they know exactly that they're going to get tears in their eyes. And they get choked up? Everyone does. Do you ever get choked up sometimes? Uh, every day. Depending on the story, I We guess. go through a lot of Kleenex in our office because uh, they're ever, the wife's crying or the husband's crying, the staff's crying. I mean, it's, uh, it's pretty emotional because their lives are changed. There is a story that you told me over there, and, and, and we'll show the picture well, right Joe, now. Joe, he just loves to eat. He loves eating. Matter of fact, when I asked him about what are your goals and what are your objectives when you have your mouth restored, he said, I want to eat my way through Europe. I want to <laughs> stop everywhere I can and eat whatever I want to eat and not have to worry about taking dentures out and cleaning them up. And he said, at Thanksgiving, I don't want just the potatoes and the, uh, and the stuffing. I want to gnaw on a turkey leg. And so he did. So with him, we gave him a fixed set of teeth and he can eat whatever he wants. And Randy, if you turn two pages to, back to the book, okay. and uh, there's a gentleman named uh, Clark, and Clark had an interesting story. Um, Clark actually um, went, he had periodontal disease in his 20s, and he lost his upper and lower teeth in his 20s, and he was told he had no bone for implants, and basically uh, he had a situation that was very embarrassing from him, and he just didn't leave the house. He just really, he didn't leave his house for almost, for several years, almost five or six years, he didn't leave the house because he was humiliated by something that happened. Then his wife, who was also a patient, finally got him to come in. It took her about two years to get Clark to come in and we came up with a solution and he has a fixed upper and lower smile, bridges, and, and now at a national level, he's helping with education. You know, and as his wife said, she got her husband back, that his personality came back once he had a fixed solution in his mouth. So it's a pretty magical uh, uh, story for him to be able to enjoy his life again. And the best line that a patient's ever said about changing from dentures to having fixed teeth came from Clark when he said, thank God they don't come out. Is that right? You have a video of that. I have a video of it, and it's really heartwarming to be so able to see. So your mission, it. I mean, clear choice, is uh, you're trying to wipe out dentures, right? <laughs> I mean, in a way, I mean, that's yeah, what you're... Yeah, absolutely. I mean, your goal is nobody should be wearing the traditional dentures. There's they no, should be attached to something. There's the, well, they, it should be fixed to the bone. Just like your teeth are fixed to the bone, the denture should be fixed to the bone. So instead of wearing something that squeezes on the gums and hurts, plus when you wear denture or when you wear fixed bridges that are attached to the bone, the bone stops resorbing. It stops going away because it's, it's getting used by biting on it. When you wear dentures, eventually it goes away and so it So the bone away. just kind of shrivels it away? It just shrivels away. Yeah. Is that right? But it doesn't shrivel away once you're wearing, denture, once you're wearing uh, bridges that are attached with implants. America is getting more and more beautiful every day. Smiles are brighter, confidence is higher, outlooks on life are improving daily. Why? Because people are calling or going online to schedule an appointment at Clear Choice Dental Implant Centers. Clear Choice is leading America's smile freedom movement. More people trust us for implants than any other brand. And it all starts with that first call or click. Schedule today and your consultation will include a 3D CT scan. It's time to put caps, crowns, bridges, dentures, and gum disease in your past and let your true self shine into the future. Don't hide your smile another day. Join the thousands who have set their smiles free. Call or go online now. Let's make America more beautiful, one smile at a time. So you brought some models. What are you showing me here? Well, here's an example of a regular denture. It covers the whole palate, which affects your ability to taste food. Um, and it basically is just held in with suction. But isn't it pretty, I mean, for upper, that's not a problem as far as dentures, right? Well, not exactly, because once people have a solution where something's actually attached and it doesn't come off, they realize how this really felt. They just had nothing to compare it to. So this solution actually is retained and held in with implants. With this, they can eat my corn on the cob recipe, and okay. they can eat meat. Whatever they want to eat, carrots, vegetables, it allows them to have a diet that, they're, that they were accustomed to having before they had their dentures. 
Okay, now you don't like snap in, snap out because that is an option, right? Like on the lower, you could do two implants, snap in, snap out. Well, it is an option and um, it's a lot better than not having anything. And what we do at Clear Choice is we can put the implants in so that the patient, if they want later, can have two additional implants put and then we convert it to this, a fixed solution. So it gives... A fixed set of teeth. So we can go from starting with two implants that allows... Snap in, snap that snaps out. in and snaps out. And then we can add two additional implants. And then we can convert this denture to a fixed bridge like this that does not come out. Well, that's what everybody wants, right? I mean, that's no, what everyone teeth wants. Teeth that don't come in and out. They want teeth that just feel like their own teeth. And they could eat... I mean, like... Uh, and what about... Uh, I guess salads are tough for denture wears. So salads, they can eat salad. Yeah. doesn't matter. They can eat salads. Anything you could eat with natural teeth, well, after the healing period, you can eat with uh, a fixed bridge on dental implants. Now, the best, you have another one. I think you told me a little bit about it. This one is made of uh, something special. This is a zirconium bridge. And if you have patients who have been grinding and they basically just ground their natural teeth down to little stumps and they've ground or broken down dentures and nothing seems to last, we have a solution. As a matter of fact, the manufacturer has a video that shows these teeth being hit with a sledgehammer. What's it made out of? It's made out of zirconium. It's made out of zirconium. It's a solid piece of zirconium. They're not individual teeth. And the, the gums are shaded to match the patient's gums. But it's incredibly strong. We, every year, we have more and more uh, choices and solutions and options for patients. So with that, they could literally eat I mean, they couldn't break those teeth, right? <laughs> they can't, but they're still teeth. So people, if, if you've been in dentures 30 years, 40 years, there's, there's something. It's not too late. It is definitely not too late. Uh, we have patients that come in on a regular basis that are in their 70s and 80s, and they want to enjoy their life. They want to be able to do what they used to do. They want to be able to eat food, go to a restaurant, look at the menu, and pick what they want, rather than having to pick something that they think that they can eat without being embarrassed. Uh, I mean, there's no reason. We have patients that are out um, doing all kinds of sports and activities that are in their 60s and 70s. We have patients that are living into their 90s, and I've, I've even had a patient that, a pair of patients that were both 100, a husband and wife. That you did dental implants on? Uh, I had a patient that was, he came in now, at 100 years old. why would want to do old. that at 100 years old? Well, it was very interesting because the husband was trying to talk, and the wife kept interrupting. <laughs> and the husband turns to the wife and says, would you... Let me finish my sentence. And she says, I haven't let you finish a sentence for 80 years. Why would I start now? It was pretty amazing to be in a room with two people that were 100 years each. But his jaw, he needed to have two implants because it was actually painful because the denture was pushing on the nerve. So he wasn't able to eat anymore, and he decided he wanted to be 105. So with him, he just had two dental implants, and then his denture could lock into those. Um, and... It gave him the solution that he needed. So no more adhesive or anything No like more that. adhesive for him, no. Over 100, over 100 years old. It's just amazing. So patients that are coming in that are 50, 60, 70, they're actually youngsters now. I told you my mother was told at 72 years old by her medical doctor that she was too old for dental implants, that they would fall out. Is that just old thinking or just not true? It's just not true. Um, even if patients have medical problems, we can work with their physicians to get medical clearance so that we can work because we want to make sure that it's safe for them. But uh, we have patients that sometimes if they have diabetes or something, we have to wait until their diabetes is controlled and we work with their physicians. And once we get approval, we go ahead. But it's not because of the bone. Even patients that are taking bisphosphonates, there are tests that can be done to see if it's safe for them to have dental implants. So the vast majority of patients can benefit from having a fixed solution, a fixed set of teeth in their mouth. Now you say you've made dentures for hundreds of patients in the past. Uh, you don't do that now. So what do you say to the patients that may tune in that you've, you've, you've connected them with uh, you know, dentures? Well, come in and see me. And with implants now, we can create a... Uh, new smile for you that doesn't come out and you can enjoy eating and talking and doing whatever you want just like you had your natural teeth. Is it more women than men? Actually, Don't men put things off? Yeah, the, the women typically are the ones that tell their husbands to go have their mouth fixed and then the <laughs> husbands listen. Because of the complaining that the husbands are doing? 
Well, my wife told me the three things I had to remember to have a happy marriage was say yes, uh huh, okay. And most of the men, when I tell them that, they start laughing because they're over there because their wives want them to be there. But their wives want their husbands to have a better life. And Good. so they do. But we could, we take care of patients from every age group. And um, it's just amazing to watch the transformation when we get to see them after they come back. You love lives. this, by the way. I do. Because you said it. you wanted to be a dentist at 14 years old. Yep. I knew a long time ago, my scoutmaster was a dentist, and I knew I wanted to be a dentist at a very young age. It's a wonderful profession. Your to be son in. wants to be a dentist? Is, yeah. that, is that right? Yes, he wants to be a dentist as well. I want to thank you for coming to the show. That's Great right. information. They could go to your website, look at the before and afters. Yes. Find out more. Yeah, I would love to have them come on in and visit us, and we'll be able to come up with a plan to be able to restore their smiles. Great. Thanks again. You've been watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.